Hey guys, in this video we're going to check out a new micro from GearBest. This is the Aurora RC Mini Fight. It is uh, actually advertised as a 110 millimeter uh, micro, but it's actually 125 millimeters motor to motor distance. It's a true X frame. And I like this design a lot, obviously because it comes with a two and a half inch prop, so I'll get into that a little bit more. But the frame itself is very durable. Three millimeter bottom plate, uh, two millimeter top plate, and one and a half millimeter side plates for the camera. Uh, you got a really nice uh, stack in here. It's a 28 amp 4 in 1 ESC BL Heli S, uh, so it does D Shot 600 out of the box. The flight controller is only an F3, so it's only OnlyOS F3 with the Betaflight OSD. And then the third board here is going to be your video transmitter. It's power switchable between uh, 25, 100, and 200 milliwatts. And of course, it's a 20 by 20 stack. The motors on here are the Sunny Sky Racing Edition 1105, uh, 5500 kV. And this is a really a uh, good size motor for these two and a half inch props on 3S and we're going to be flying with the uh, Gemfan Flash uh, 2540 props. These are the, I think, the best props for uh, this size or this class of micro and it, I think it pairs very well with this uh, particular motor on 3S. We have a XT30 which is good uh, with a nice uh, thick wire here. I believe this is a, a 16 gauge wire so shouldn't have any issues with flips of death. Got a buzzer and some LEDs in the back. And then uh, right above the uh, video transmitter, we have a, a FreeSky receiver. There's other, other receivers available, FlySky and Spectrum receivers, and it's also available as a uh, plug and play only. So I'll put a list of all those below in the description so you guys can find the proper one. Uh, they do have this braiding on here for the motor wires, uh, which is kind of nice, makes it look nicer, but uh, be aware that it does rub against the motor bell here, so check that on yours. I think a couple of mine were a little bit too close to the motor bell and was rubbing and does not caught, let the motor freely spin, so you have to slide that back. So that's something that might cause some issues for you. Maybe if it's rubbing there, it might cause the motor to run pretty hot. Uh, the camera here is some sort of generic uh, CCD camera, I believe. It's uh, the description on the product page says it's a 1500 TV line camera. I don't think that's the case. I, I think this is probably a standard 600 TV line Sony sensor. Uh, it, it's not a run cam or one of the other brands I've seen. This is probably another uh, generic CCD camera and it, I believe this one is only PAL. I don't think an NTSC version is available. Okay, we'll get a weight measurement of this and it comes in about 93.2 grams. So at about 92, 93 grams, it is a little bit on the heavy side, but I think you're going to attribute that to the 1106 motors. And I would definitely recommend flying this on 3S with a, like a 550 3S or somewhere in that range, maybe 600 3S. And I'll, I'll, I'll list the battery that I flew in the description. Uh, I thought this flew actually really well. Now, actually, it came with default PIDs for Betaflight 323, so it wasn't really tuned or anything. Uh, so there were some oscillation issues out of the box. I did actually have to tune this, so I'll show you a little bit of flight footage of what it looked like out of the box. It, it, it flew fine, it just had, you could hear the prop wash oscillation, and so I made adjustments to the uh, P, P gains, D gains, and I added some TPA, and I'll show those uh, a little bit later in the video. Um, yeah, other than that, I didn't, I didn't flash any else uh, in terms of the software, I left everything the same. Just added my modes for my transmitter and set my video channel, of course, on the video transmitter, and that was pretty much it, and went flew it. Anyway, I think overall I'm really impressed with the way this thing flew. Uh, I thought that for the size and weight, uh, the power to weight ratio for this uh, setup here is actually pretty good, uh, and I would highly recommend checking this out. It's pretty reasonably priced, and I believe that uh, it's about $160 with the receiver, and, you know, with Gearbus, there's probably have a bunch of coupons and stuff, so you can probably get it for even less. So anyway, um, yeah, this one's a, a winner for me. I like this one. I like the way it flew. And um, you know, I think we can see more frames like this in the future. I think the size uh, for two and a half inch frames is uh, probably the right way to go to get it around 90 to 100 grams, somewhere in there. And uh, 1106 motors. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and I'll roll some fight footage now. And let me know if you guys have any questions. And I'll talk to you guys in the next video.